Your side excellent in, in the first half. It was the proverbial game of two halves. What was the most frustrating thing for you about the way it unravelled in the second half? No, the combination of missing big chances first half, of course, where we, we could probably have gone in one one or two more in front, probably, with the, the situations we create. And then you, you know they've got Diaz, Nunes, um, Harvey Elliott, big players on the bench that are going to make an impact. Um, and then... The disappointing thing for me is just a second goal, really, because we spoke about not wanting to create chaos against Liverpool and trying to have some control and structure. And obviously, a strange decision that we make, and then we get punished in a in a chaotic situation that we we create ourselves. So disappointed with a second goal because up until then I thought we had a real good go. We managed to bridge the gap between ourselves and Liverpool quality-wise for a long time, and then we had to dig in and hang on, and we, and we were. And then the second goal was disappointing. Ultimately, your season, Gary, is not going to depend on the results you get against Manchester United or Liverpool because they're going to be, you know, going for the title. It's going to be the next game against Luton. How big is the game at Luton next week? Yeah, they're all going to be bigger against the teams that are, yeah, not part of that top group. Like you speak about, Man U, Man City, Liverpool, like the, the ones that we, we need to, if we, if we play that well and we keep our level and we need to go and beat the teams in and around us, of course. So um, next week, I mean... Yes, Luton away, you have to play them at some point and it's, it's a game that we want to go and win, no doubt. Um, we've had a tough start to the season, only two home games and Brighton and Liverpool in those. And uh, So, yeah, we've had a, we've had a tough start fixture-wise and we need to go to, to Luton next week, of course, and, and put on a performance and get the, a result. The pressing in the first half was that was outstanding. Was that something you felt you could capitalise on about being on the front foot against Liverpool, stopping them playing? Yeah, so we tried to be aggressive, but from a lower a lower position and trying to like I said, trying to avoid chaos. Like if, yeah. if you create chaos against Liverpool, they're fantastic in it. As as you saw when they scored a second goal, and then when we have to open up a little bit, they start to create big chances. So, trying to keep the, the distances small, trying to be aggressive when when we were ready, um, worked quite well for a long time, of course. And then Nunes and Diaz come on, they start to create a few more problems, and you start to lose energy a bit. Tried to make some subs to freshen it up, but. Yeah, we, we come up a little bit short against the, against the top side. So, yeah, like the, the lads gave absolutely everything again, as they always will. And, yeah, like you say, today's not the level that we're judged against. We need to go on next week, need to win a game. And then when sides come here that we can have a real go against, we'll have a real go. No, we were play, praising Neto down the left-hand side. He's, uh, he's a real talent. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. He's been excellent since I've come in, obviously. When you join a, a new group and you ask them to do different things and mm. you're looking for people to commit, Pedro's fully committed to everything we've asked. I think he's benefited massively in the level of his performances. I think he had a, a tough season last year for how good he is performance-wise. Mm. The work we've done with him has definitely improved him. He's benefiting from the work he's putting in and, and I think he's enjoying it. Obviously, the, mm. the disappointing thing is that he's, he's not managing to put results with it. Mm. But um, from an individual point of, uh, point of view, I thought he was excellent mm. again. Gary, your new signings are still settling in. What did you think of Jean Rickner Bellegarde today on his debut? Yeah, I thought he gave us a lot, actually. I thought him and Pedro down this side caused them a big problem. Their pace, physicality, looked after the ball well, um, took on instruction fairly well, considering how new he is, um, and then tired slightly towards the end, so had to change him. But, yeah, he's, he's going to help us, no doubt. So, um, yeah, please with, please with John today. How close do you feel like you are to knowing your best 11? Um... Yeah, I, I don't really see it like that. I, I, I'm probably fairly close, I guess, but it it will be changed for the game. Like what what the opposition are and, and what they're going to offer will will change how I see it. But um, yeah, we've got a good group. You know, Doherty comes on, doesn't make us any weaker at all. Did did well down the right side. Uh, Hugo Bueno comes on for Rayan, very good as well. Totti Gomez could come on and do that role. So we've got a few. Obviously, we're a little bit short in, in attacking areas. When you look at, I mean, don't compare us to Liverpool, but you look at how they can change the game with. Diaz and Nunes, um, obviously Cunha's travelled a long way, managed to get sort of 55 minutes, an hour out of him. Uh, and then the subs don't quite make the same impact that, that Liverpool's do. But um, yeah, well, I mean, it's a, it's a group thing. So we're working extremely hard as a group. Next week we go again. Yeah, huge game against Luton. Gary, we really appreciate Thanks, you coming guys. out to talk to us. Thank, Thank you very, very much. much. I'll see you later on. Appreciate Thanks, guys. It. See you Thank later. You. See ya.